Hello and good morning to a new day of classes. Today we're going to start the new book, the level 1 of Interchange, 5th edition. And as always, we're going to start with the language summary, the vocabulary that we're, the vocabulary that we're going to be using for this unit. Again, this uh, presentation was made by the teacher Minerva Pons. And let's start. Okay, we have the words uh, for these units that are biology, you know, everything related to animals, a business, you know, the people that make a lot of money making and selling stuff, chemistry, this is a type of subject that you might have in a school or maybe it's a, it's a science, chemistry is a science, English, what we're studying right now, geography, the ubication of all of the places in the planet and where the countries are, where the continents are, you know, etc. etc. History. This is also another subject. This too is a subject in usually in the school. This is about or everything that have happened in the story of the world. We have Napoleon here, the Spartans, Egypt, Samurais, we have a lot of stuff in the history. Okay. Literature. It's everything related to books, stories, and such. Math. Another type of subject, this time related to numbers and equations and stuff. Physical education, also known as PE. You know, physical P education, E. It's a subject where everybody moves. We need to do exercise in the physical education class. But then we have physics that is kind of similar. In physical education, we move a lot and we use our bodies to do the things physical, basically. But with physics, we study the movement, everything that happens and does with the rules of the law and laws of the gravitation now all sorts of stuff physics is like the math of these type of movements okay we have an actor you know who this actor is maybe you have seen Avengers you know that he's an actor we have a birthday that is the day of your birth <laughs> brother or sister brother if it's a man sister if it's a girl a woman city a city where you have you know a city we have a difference between college and university a college is a part of the university or a, or a higher education and lower level tertiary education institution in the uk college is a secondary educational institution of a part of a university and in australia it's mainly a vocational education or institution but an university is an institute of higher education and research which offers academic degrees in various disciplines. University is an institute of higher education and research which offers academic degrees in various disciplines and it's the same basically for the next one in Australia. Basically the difference between college and university in these types of uh, uh, these countries like the US, UK and Australia is that a college is uh, it's like a lower level of a university or it can be an aggregation to a new university that we have we can get degrees in college yeah but the research and the investigation of new things in the area that we're talking about are made in a university college is only for studying but a university is also for research of all types. Okay, very good. We have also quarter and semesters. And semesters and quarter have different ways. We have the quarter systems that are that is divided the three the thirty weeks in ten week, ten week, and ten weeks. And we have the semester type that is fifteen weeks and fifteen weeks. If you notice. Uh, universities in Dominican Republic, like us, may be having a semester system that is two big parts in the year, while in the 
other some other universities like uh, wa like Unapec or OEM, it's divided in quarters. That is the first quarter, the second quarter, and the third quarter uh, through the year. That is the thing. We also have friends, people that you know that is not your family, but you are really good with them. We have hobbies, things that you like to do, like playing video games, watching series, knitting and drawing, all sorts of stuff. We have the moon, that is the big, uh, the big white ball in the skies that is always surrounding the Earth planet, and we have the planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Right again, we have the stars. That is each of these uh, dots that are really uh, with, that has a lot of light within them. We have the space. That is the whole thing where the stars and the planets and moons are. Very good. Okay. Now we're gonna continue now with the book. I hope that you books have your books ready, or you can also watch it here with me. We're gonna start with the first unit that is called Where Are You From? And in this unit we'll be seeing uh, how to introduce how to introduce oneself and others, how I will introduce me and how to introduce another person to a friend of mine for example. And we can talk about oneself and learn about others, talk about me and listen about other people. And to start, we have a conversation called Please Call Me Alexa. Here we see these three people that are here in this is like fair in a college. Let's listen to it, okay? Interchange, 5th edition, by Jack C. Richards, with Jonathan Hull and Susan Proctor. This class audio program contains recordings that correspond to Students Book One, published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyrighted. Unit One, Where Are You From? Page Two, Exercise One, Conversation. Please call me Alexa. Listen and practice. Hello, I'm Arturo Valdez. Hi, my name is Alexandra Costa, but please call me Alexa. Okay. Where are you from, Alexa? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Oh, good. Sujin is here. Who's Sujin? She's my classmate. We're in the same business class. Where's she from? South Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Vargas? Actually, it's Valdez. How do you spell that? V-A-L-D-E-Z. Okay, very good. Here we're seeing that they started to do exactly what we're going to be seeing today. That is, introducing oneself. Each one of them introduced themselves. Arturo introduced himself, saying, Hello, I am Arturo Valdez. And Alexa introduced herself, saying that, Hello, hi, my name is Alexandra Costa. But you can call me Alexa. And if you remember, this is a nickname. Well, now they're gonna be seeing... They introduced themselves, one to each other, but now we're gonna be seeing how to introduce another person to your friend, for example, with the next conversation. Let's pay attention, okay? Page 3, Exercise 3, Conversation. This is Arturo Valdez, Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Sujin. This is Arturo Valdez. He's a biology student. Nice to meet you, Arturo. I'm Soo Jin Kim. Hi. So, you're from South Korea? That's right. I'm from Seoul. Cool. What's Seoul like? It's really nice. It's a very exciting city. Okay, very good. Now, here we see that Alexa is introducing Val Mr. Valdez 
to sujin to our, a trouble desk to sujin by saying the expression this is and then the person like hi sujin this is our trouble desk he's a biology student and then start talking to each other these are the ways that you can introduce another person to a person that you already know okay Let, now let's listen to the rest of the conversation and let's identify where is Arturo from and what's it like what it's like there where Arturo is from pay attention page 3 exercise 3 part B listen to the rest of the conversation what city is Arturo from what's it like so Arturo where are you from I'm from Mexico really what city Puebla Interesting. What's it like there? Well, it's a really beautiful city, and the food there is great. Okay, very good. Now, if you listen closely, you know that Arturo is from Puebla, that is a town in Mexico, and he thinks that it's a really beautiful city, and that the food is great. Very good. Now, let's see some pronunciation. We have the linked, linked sounds, okay? You know that in English we want to speak as fast as possible and also be able to be understood by other people and for that we try to connect two different words together to speak faster. For example, here we're connecting a, con a final consonant sound with a vowel sound. Instead of saying I'm a biology student they say I'm a biology student my friend is over there my friend is over there my name is Alexandra Costa my name is Alexandra Costa okay but let's listen one more time page 3 exercise 4 pronunciation linked sounds listen and practice Notice how final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowels that follow them. I'm a biology student. My friend is over there. My name is Alexandra Costa. Okay, let's listen one more time. Consonant sounds are often linked to the vowels that follow them. I'm a biology student. My friend is over there. My name is Alexandra Costa. Do you notice? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a biology student. My friend is over there. Iso, Iso, Iso over there. My name is Alexandra Costa. My name is, name is, Alexandra Costa, Alexandra Costa. My name is Alexandra Costa. That is the way that they linked the sounds to make it sound like more well like more natural and fast okay now we're gonna be seeing the grammar focus for today that are the statements with the verb be and also the possessive adjectives we have with the statements with be that you know with the pronouns i you he she it we they they have different forms for the verb be I am in the contraction is I'm. You are the contraction is your. He is the contraction is his. She is the contraction is she's. It is the contraction is its. We are the contraction is where. And they are the contraction is there. We also have the possessive adjectives, but in a moment we'll see how to use it. For now, Let's listen to this grammar, fo grammar focus part. Page 3, exercise 5, grammar focus. Statements with B, possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a business student. 
It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. There equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It's. Our. Their. Okay, very good. You know that we already know if you're watching a video about this unit, it means that you already know the verb be. And it must be quite easy for you. It's just that we have these constructions and the pronunciation of them. If you need to practice again, just go back in the video. But we have the possessive adjectives. And for this, I have another thing. Let's go. Okay, we have the possessive adjectives. And there is a difference between the subject pronoun and the possessive adjectives. With the subject pronoun, we're using just I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and you for plural and singular, to talk about what, who are we talking about in a sentence. But then it changes from I to my, you to your, he to his, she to her, it to its, we to our, you again to your, and they to their. But this is for the possessive adjectives. These are possession, what it's yours, you're talking about a thing and who it belongs to, basically. Not to be confused with object pronouns, okay? When we use possessive adjectives, we're talking about something that it, about something, basically. Maybe that you have it or you don't have it. Let's see. With the subject pronoun, I have a shirt. I, we're talking about me. You have a book. We're talking about you. He has a pillow, we're talking about him. She has a dog, we're talking about the person, her. It has a bone, we're talking about it. We have a bird, we're talking about our, uh, about us. You have a house, you're talking about you, as a plural thing. And they have a car, you're talking about them. If you notice, when I was talking about who we were talking, I used the object pronoun. So it's not the same as the possessive adjective, okay? But with my, your, his, hers, it's our, your, their, we're talking about the object of the belonging of this person. My shirt is green. Green. It means that the shirt that I have, I have a shirt, the shirt that I have is green. We use my for this. My shirt is green. Your book, the book of you, that you have a book, your book is new. He has a pillow, yeah, but his pillow is soft, the pillow of him. Her dog is small, because she has a dog, and her dog, the dog of her, is small. Its bone is old, the bone of it, the dog, is old. Our bird is noisy, the bird of our, of us, the bird of us is noisy. Your house is big, their car is slow. I hope you know this difference. It, with the subject pronoun, I'm talking about me. I have a shirt. With, with the possessive adjective, we're talking about the object of this person. I have a shirt. My shirt, the shirt that I have, my shirt is green. I hope that you understand this part. If not, you can go back. Okay? Very good. Now, let's continue. Okay? Here we have a small exercise about this. And oh, no! <laughs> okay, let's continue. 
here we have a, a small and short exercise about this. We need to complete the sentences uh, with the correct form of the possessive actives or maybe uh, contractions of be when necessary. Please take your time and then come back uh, and then continue the video to see the answers. Okay, you finish? Let's see. We have here the answers. Well, okay. My name is Aiko Yoshida. I am from Japan. My family is in Nagoya. My bro my brother is a college student. His name is Haruki. My name is Matias. I am from I'm from Santiago. It's a really nice city. My sister is a student there. Our parents are in Ch in Chile right now. I'm Angelica or Angelica. But everyone's everyone calls me Angie. My last name is Newton. I'm a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They're in Las Vegas. Very good. I hope that you have this correct. Okay, let's continue with the last part. Now we're going to be seeing the WH questions with the verb be. We have, where is your friend? He's in class. Who's Eugene? She's my classmate. We have some examples here. To start with this, let's just practice the audio here and then we're going to go to another resource, okay? So, listen and practice. Page 4. Exercise 5. Grammar Focus. WH Questions with B. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's Sujin? She's my classmate. What's Seoul like? It's a very exciting city. Where are you and Vanessa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're pretty interesting. What are your classmates like? They're really nice. Okay, very good. But to talk about the explanation of this, let's go to the other resource. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a thing with the WH questions with the verb be, and is that we need to have an order for these questions. We usually start with the question word or WH word, usually who, what, when, where, why, how, how old, or what time. And I hope that you remember that who is for people, what is for thing, or also to specify about a thing. That's why we have what here alone and what time to talk about specifically the time. Maybe what color uh, you can use it for specify a color. What um, place, if you want to talk about a place, you can modify the noun we use in what. We have when, that is for time, where, that is for location, places, or vacation. Uh, we have why, that is for reasons. And we also have how, that is to talk about procedures. But the same as what, that you can use it to specify a thing, you can use how to specify an adjective. For example, how old, how good, the, I mean how well, how fast, how slow, how anything basically. And we first start, as we were saying, with a WH word, then the auxiliary verb, that is the verb be, who is, who are, who is or who are, who I am, and then we have the subject. Usually in, sen in sentences we have the subject and then the verb be, but here we have it the other way. We have the auxiliary verb be and then the subject. Who is your boss? What is your name? When is the meeting? Where is the office? Why am I? How are you? 
How old is she? What time? What time is it? But also we have we can add some more information with the other part, making that this question: When is the meeting? You can make it some other thing. When is the meeting on Monday specifically? Because in this case we know that there is a meeting, but we're asking specifically to what time on Monday is the meeting. If we only say when is the meeting, then it's just that. When is the meeting? We're asking for the general meeting. And the answer can be, oh, it's a Monday. But since we're asking for a Monday, now we are talking about the specifically the time on this day. The same here. Why am I in English class? How are you today? Okay? These are how you make WH questions. I hope that you understand this part. And let's do a small exercise with this. It's used to complete these questions. So starting with the correct WH word. Take a minute to complete this. And then we continue. Okay, you finish? Let's check. Number one. Who is, or also we can also use a contract form. Who is that or who's that? Oh, that's Miss, Mrs. Adams. Where is she from or where's she from? She's from San Diego. What's her first name or what is her first name? Who are here? Who are the two students over there? Their names are Manson and Ava. Okay. Where are they from? They are from Vancouver. And we also have what are they like? They are shy but very friendly. Very good. I hope that you like the class for today. This is going to be everything for today. And we're going to continue in the next video with the second part of this unit. Until then, bye.